Good morning and welcome back to Robust Town. This is the town where my beautiful friends live and I live over here in this beautiful house, of course. Oh boy, a few things have changed since the last video. First of all, we need to hit 100,000 likes. And second of all, there's a wishing well. I'm pretty sure this is a wishing well. I was looking in here and I'm like, oh boy, there's some water and it goes pretty deep. I'm pretty sure this is a wishing well. I'm gonna create a sign and call this the wishing well. Well, now what we can do, this is so cool. We can like go up here and be like, I'd like to sacrifice one iron ingot. I had a mailbox. I would have assumed like Jilly and Slogoman would have given me something, but there's absolutely nothing over here in the mailbox. I don't think anybody gave us anything. Anyways, I'm gonna be nice and I'm gonna give Josh an iron ingot because you know, oh, maybe maybe a piece of bread too. And I'm gonna be nice and give Jilly an iron ingot and a piece of bread too. Just like that. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I also noticed somebody removed my chair. How could you have done that? Oh no. Oh no, nice try, Slogo, but the chicken is mine. I think Josh tried stealing Jelly's chicken. That's not really a good thing. And there's also a, a bridge over here. Not the nicest bridge, but hey, it definitely works for now. It, it looks fine, I guess. So there is something I've wanted to do for a while. I kind of want to prank Jelly or Josh. So here's my plan. This is Jelly's house. It's right next to the mine. I want to dig underneath Jelly's house, lead a few mobs there, so that the one time he decides to, I don't know, Work on a basement? Wait, he has a basement already? Maybe this is perfect. Let's check it out. I had no idea he had a basement. Oh, Jelly's valuables. Do not open if you're not Jelly. Okay, I, I'm not gonna open that. My actual valuable chest. Wait, no, 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 no. I do not trust this. So here's the plan. Right below this, I want to build a trap to counter Jelly's trap. So first things first, I'm gonna have to disable this one without Jelly knowing. This is the level we wanna be. If we go any higher than this, Jelly's gonna find out. Now we kinda gotta figure out where Jelly's house is. So we're almost there. Okay, if we dig around a little bit, we need to find this TNT without Jelly knowing. Cause he 100% put TNT over there. I can guarantee you that he did that. I mean, yes, we live in this village together, but I know I know for a fact that we don't trust each other at all. Oh, are you joking? Wait, what? What is this? What is this? Wait, wait, there it is. I told you there was gonna be TNT. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> we need to break the TNT. Yes. Okay, we got it. And now one block above us here. I'm gonna put two torches down. That's where the chest is. Right above us is Jelly's base. If we break anything over here, Jelly's gonna know. He's gonna know that, we, uh, that we've been here, that we have uh, tampered with his uh, goods, you know, that we have messed around with his secret chest, very secret, Jelly. You're a genius. And he'll have no idea that we went down here and broke it. Like, he doesn't know. So what I wanna do is I wanna break one block, maybe. Yeah, I want to break one block and put an iron block down. Jelly's gonna be like, oh, hey, look, it's an iron block. And then he's gonna break it and underneath here, I want to have mobs. I want to have as many mobs as we can fit into this room. So when Jelly breaks it, he's gonna fall down into this room with mobs. So first things first, we need to make this room as big as possible. The bigger it is, the more mobs that can fit in here. And not dig too far in, in different directions because that's also gonna be bad. Like, I don't want anybody to notice that there are creepers in here, that there's gonna be zombies in here, that there's gonna be skeletons in here. If this is a big dark room, mobs are just gonna get here by themselves, you know? We don't even have to lure any mobs in here. But I kinda do wanna lure a few mobs in here just so we know that there are gonna be mobs. We also, all we wanna do is close off the entrance. That's gonna be hilarious. He's gonna fall down and then this is gonna be closed up. His only way out is to dig back up. For now, we can put some torches down. For now, it's fine because uh, we're still here. We don't really want any mobs to spot while we're down here. That would be so bad. Also don't know why I'm doing this to Jelly and not to Josh. 
I, I kind of don't really know. If we had some slimy pistons, I could have made this so much more advanced, but we simply don't have that yet. I also just noticed this is where one of the chests was. This is where the other one was. I don't think that one is actually trapped. This is starting to look beautiful. I, I think mobs should be able to spawn in here. I need to get some more iron. Let's get some more iron real quick. All right, this is the advanced cave system we found, I believe in the previous episode. There's still so much more to explore over here. I bet there's gonna be diamonds somewhere. I also don't think Jelly and Josh have found this, this cave system, which is beautiful because that means that we can get all the diamonds. They'd make a golden block too. <gasps> redstone, yes. Okay, we need redstone. We need redstone. We need redstone right now. Redstone's gonna be huge because redstone we can use for so many cool things. There's a lot of redstone over here, guys. Look at all this redstone. Oh, yes. I was thinking we use the gold to create a golden block. And then we could use a golden block to trick Jelly into thinking like, hey, I should mine that. Let's grab that. And let's explore a little bit more this way. I saw some gold over here. Some, some iron too. Wait, why don't we do that? Why don't we put down a lot of gold in Jelly's basement like this? Then Jelly's gonna be like, oh wait, there's some gold over here? He's gonna mine the gold, he's gonna fall down into our zombie cave. Oh yes, oh yes. I've kinda lost, uh, <laughs> I've kinda lost my, oh yeah, you cops told me. If I just put torches down on the left side, then I know that's the way to go. However, I, I should have probably done that when I went in here, so you always know which way to go. Usually I'm not this bad. You know what, let's just dig up and the surface is right over here. So now we know that that is a way into our cave system. Hey, wait, I'm all the way here. I'm on the other side of the bridge. Are you kidding me? All right, it's daytime. The sun is going down slowly. So let's prepare Jelly's cave. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place these gold ores all over the place over here. As if like, oh, Jelly, you for completely forgot these golden ores. Boom, like this, this is one of them. We could even make a vein over here. Pour down like that. Oh, yes. He might be like, oh, let me mine this. Chee -chee 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 -chee. And then he falls down. Yes. Let's put a gold ore over here too. There you go. Maybe one in the front too. Let's put even more down. We have so much more like this. Here you go. So now we've put down a lot of it. I just realized we need to extend this even more this way. I would have loved to use tripwire and pistons to remove the ground from underneath him. However, that's simply not possible because, hey, look, it's gold. Yeah, we we, we don't have the, the, the pistons and whatnot yet, the slime, the slime blocks. So let's just do it the old fashioned way. If you dig down, you're gonna die. <laughs> Are we too evil? Maybe Josh deserves this. This has gotta be amazing. It's gotta be unstoppable. And now it's time for us to remove the torches. Oh, it's a dark room. Oh, it's a really dark room. Now we need to find a way to lure creatures into here. I'm thinking if we just open this up a little bit and we get some zombies to follow us, we get some creepers to follow us, should be able to just walk them in there. They'll fall down and then we just go to the next one. We just put some doors over here for now. Nothing too advanced. Eventually we'll block it up. Yes, all right. Let's see if we can uh, lure some, uh, some creatures in there. Oh, okay, perfect. Creeper number one. Let's go, Mr. Creeper, come on. Oh, there's another one there. Creeper, no, 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 don't blow up yet. Are you kidding me, Creeper? I don't know how we're gonna get past this guy, though. We kinda need to get an exit. I don't really have an exit plan. It might go horribly wrong, who knows? Yeah, I just realized we need an exit plan. This is our exit plan. Right there, okay, Creeper is here. Let's go in here and let's close this up. Creeper, oh, he's there, he's there, this is beautiful. This is working great. We go here. We close the door. Boom, there's a creeper there. We kinda gotta run past him, or at least try to run past him next time, and then break that block. Okay, let's see what else we can get. I don't know if we wanna do zombies, because zombies make a lot of noise, and Jelly's gonna know something's up then. Okay, spiders are no good. Don't like spiders. Pretty scared of spiders. Ah! Also, if Jelly or Josh are, are trying to prank me, you need to tell me in the comment section, okay? I need to know. Let's get another creeper. I'm very scared uh, luring this creeper in because the other one is still there 
we pretty much need to run past it without it really blowing up. I mean, it, blowing up, it's not the end of the world. It just digs the deeper hole. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All the way this way. Come here, Mr. Creeper. And run. Wait, one of the creepers despawned. This is bad. You joking? Oh no, oh no. We got to block it up! I forgot to block it up! Okay, well, I was too stressed with one of these guys despawning. So, how do we prevent these guys from despawning? So, as far as I know, the bit. What? Wait, what was he doing? He was up there? I was like, this guy's disappeared. So, the best way of preventing mobs from despawning is to give them a name tag. However, I don't have any name tags. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep it with one creeper. Hope that he stays here. I'm gonna fill this all the way up. I hope that it's dark enough for mobs to spawn and then Jilly to uh, dig down there and die. Now what we need to do is fill this hole back up because I don't want anybody finding out and I also need to fill that up. I don't want anyone to find that out too. Oh my goodness. Almost didn't close Jilly's doors. You would have totally known somebody went here. And whatever you do, do not tell Jilly. We should definitely get started on, on like a basement maybe over here. Oh, that would be nice. We can just build like a ladder down. Oh, okay, I'm so excited for this. So now we can like walk down here. We, we can make ourselves a beautiful basement. Um, I'm just gonna fall into the hole. This is gonna be our ceiling. There you go, we have a beautiful ceiling already. And this is where I want to store all the goods. It's also handy to check to make sure nobody built a secret base under my base. Uh, you know, it's always handy to check for that, especially if you're playing with these two guys. I mean, maybe we should keep this for the next episode where we build a secret base underneath our secret base. I mean, it's not really a secret base yet. Maybe we could even make some sticky pistons, which would be us starting a whole new era of crazy things. Let's close this up for now. Make sure that nobody knows this is, okay, this is way too obvious. Now nobody knows that there is a base underneath our base. I don't want you to tell anybody either. We have enough slime to make about three sticky pistons. One, two, three. I'm gonna keep that in a very secret location. I'm not telling anyone. We need a little bit more though. If we wanna make like an advanced trap, we need at least four. But for now, let's finish up this beautiful prank on Jelly. We can do all of that in the next episode of our beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Minecraft video series. Amazing video series, of course. Also, go and get yourself some Quibble Cup merchandise!